Hey, what's up, everyone? This is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between evil and monsters. Okay. So, what's the difference between evil and monsters? And why do human beings have such a fondness and fascination with monsters in general? Well, I'm going to break it all down to you right now. Okay. So, what is the difference between evil and monsters? Okay, well, evil is when you do something wrong. When someone or something does something wrong, knowing that it's wrong, knowing that it's evil, yet they make the choice to do it anyway because it's evil and because they don't care. Okay, that's evil. So what is a monster? A monster is something that is capable of doing things, or that does do things that can be considered evil to certain groups. Okay, but they do so without knowing that they're doing something wrong without knowing that they're doing something evil. And most oftentimes, these monsters, their intentions are coming from good intentions and not, they, they're not thinking that they're doing something evil. For instance, okay, the lion in the jungle. The lion in the jungle, it goes out every day and it hunts the gazelles and it hunts the, the other animals and it kills them and it eats them, okay? Now, to the, to the animals that the lion eats, the lion is the most evil thing on the planet. It is an evil monster to these animals that the lion kills and eats. Okay. But to the lion, the lion does not feel like it is doing anything wrong because the only way that the lion can exist and continue to exist is if that lion eats, kills and eats that gazelle, or kills and eats whatever creature it's hunting. That's the only way it can survive. So what it's doing to the lion is not evil. To the lion, it would be evil for it to starve to death. Okay, when the lion goes without food, it starts to die. When the lion has no food, its body starts to eat itself until it's a skeleton and then it dies. Is that not evil? What about the, uh, the, the lion's feelings and thoughts and life? Okay? So the lion is a monster. The lion is a monster. Because the lion is just a beautiful, pure creature... Okay, that has to, for its own survival, it has to kill and eat. Okay, so that's the difference. So, much like vampires, okay, vampires are monsters for the most part because they have no choice but to consume blood okay so we'll get to why humans have such a fascination with vampires in just a second but a good example of the difference between evil and monsters is the original child's play movie with chucky and the remake of child's play with Chucky that came out in 2019. All right. 
the original Child's Play featured a serial killer named Charles E. Ray, who is pure evil. He knows that he is evil. He gets off and gets joy from doing evil things and killing people. So he knowingly does these evil things. And he possesses the doll through voodoo. And he intends on doing all this evil shit. And he kills people. He's evil. He's pure evil. Okay, so Child's Play is a... The original Child's Play is a horror movie about evil. All right? But the Child's Play remake, the Chucky doll is a buddy doll and it is not possessed by a serial killer it is an artificial intelligent friend and it has had its limitations removed so that it can do whatever and say whatever unlike the other buddy dolls and the doll gets overprotective of andy his best friend and he wants to protect him, and he doesn't want anybody to hurt him. And he watches horror movies and learns that he sees Andy enjoying the horror movies. So he thinks that that's good. So the AI is like learning. It's trying to learn how to become human, and it's learning all these wrong things. And Chucky in the remake ends up killing these people that are fucking with Andy because he's trying to protect Andy. So, but he doesn't, Chucky in this, the remake, does not know that what he's doing is evil. He doesn't know what he's doing is wrong. As a matter of fact, he's doing it out of love for Andy. He's trying to protect him. He's trying to keep him safe. Okay, so the Child's Play remake is a monster movie. And it's a very good monster movie. If you haven't seen the Child's Play remake, it's one of the greatest remakes of all time. And because it doesn't try to be like the original. And it's like, it's completely different. The original was a slasher movie about an evil serial killer. And the remake is a monster movie. Just like the old classic monster movies, Dracula and Frankenstein from Universal back in the day and the Wolfman. About a monster. A tragic character. So why do human beings... Why, do we, why are we so obsessed with monsters? Because, here's the truth. This is where it gets deep, so hold on to your butts. Human beings are one of two things. We are either evil, or we are monsters. There's no other thing. That's right. You, if you're a human being, you're a monster. You're a monster. Okay? Okay? And the reason why we are so fascinated with vampires and this whole story about how the vampire has to drink blood and kill to survive and all this shit, right? The reason there's such a fascination with monsters in general is because in the back of the subconscious human mind, we realize that we ourselves are monsters, because to continue to exist in this world, just like the lion, just like the vampire, human beings must consume living things. Whether it be living animals, living plants, living vegetables, living fruit. We have to eat it. We have to kill it and eat it. Okay? When we eat it, we kill it. All right? You might not know this, but when you eat an apple, that thing is alive. That apple is alive and it feels itself being eaten. Same with a piece of lettuce. Same with a piece of lettuce. Same with all that shit. Okay? Even though someone else is slaughtering the animal that made your hamburger or whatever you're eating, you still had to kill. Something had to die, and you're eating its dead body. Okay? Just because someone else did the dirty work doesn't make you any less of a monster. And just like the vampire, and just like the lion, there's no 
escaping it. You, ha you, your survival in this world is dependent on evil. Okay? Because just like the gazelle thinks the lion is evil, the chickens that we bring into this world and slaughter, or the pigs we bring into this world just to slaughter, or the cows that we subjugate and bring into this world just to slaughter, they look at us and they see how evil it is. They look at us as evil monsters, okay? And a lot of us are evil. A lot of humans are evil. They knowingly do evil things. Okay, not only are they monsters, but they're evil monsters. Okay, they don't care. They don't care about animals, and they don't care about humans. And a lot of them don't even care about themselves. They're evil monsters, a lot of humans. Okay, like I said, humans are either monsters or they're evil monsters. That's it. Okay? All right? That's the reality we live in. Okay? So at a certain point, you have to accept that you're the monster. You have to accept that this world is a fucked up, evil fucking place. Like, evil is embedded into the fabric of our existence. Like, to continue to exist in this realm, you must commit evil acts. Okay? Alright? You cannot survive based on eating things that aren't, weren't already alive. Okay, and you're a monster. Okay, and that's why we relate to these monster movies and the vampires and all that shit. Because deep down inside, human beings are monsters. And it's cool. Be the monster. Be the lion. You know, that's what we are, but... Because there's no escaping it. You cannot... You cannot continue to exist in this world without being a monster. Okay? Just the end. That's it. That's it. So, I hate to break it to you, but be prideful. But, you know, being a monster, you know, yes, you have to, you have to eat to continue to exist in this world. But being a monster doesn't mean you're evil. It doesn't mean you're bad. It doesn't mean you're scary. You might be scary to a chicken that thinks you're going to eat it. Okay? Yeah, human beings are some scary fucking monsters, okay? If you look at what has been done to this planet and the creatures on this planet and the other human beings on this planet, it's some horrible, scary monstrously evil shit okay but hey we're all monsters here all right but we're not all evil okay and just because we have the knowledge of good and evil all right and we have the capacity to know that hey it's evil to fucking kill something to eat it but it's also you have to realize it's also evil to sacrifice your own life To not consume the lives of others to continue to exist. You know? It's fucked up. We have to eat vegetables. We have to eat fruit. You know? We have to eat this stuff to continue to exist. Okay? And it's monstrous. But now you know. Now you know. There's a stark difference. And you know, if the lion were somehow able to realize holy shit the animal that i eat for dinner every day has feelings and it has a family and it wants to live its life and it's painful when i bite into it and all this shit that's horrifying like imagine being that lion and realizing that like what's the lion supposed to do is the lion supposed to say well i'm a good person so I guess I'm just going to shrivel up and not eat and sacrifice my own life so I don't have to consume others. Like, just think about that. It's fucked up. It's fucked up being a monster. And you are a monster.
But monsters are awesome. I mean, that's why Sesame Street, you know, was fucking awesome. That's why all the kids love Sesame Street. Because in, re in reality, we're all a bunch of fucking cuddly, awesome, cute, cool monsters. Okay? So own it. But be good. Be a good monster. Don't be an evil one. Okay? Don't be an evil monster. Be a good one. Don't forget I love you. Your friend forever. Evan LeFevre. Ooh-wee, monster fam. Ooh-wee.